Okay, so we're going to talk about the crusty issue of forefoot versus rear foot striking. And I'm going to, Marlene, I'm going to define a rear foot strike as striking the ground with your rear foot first. And I'm going to define a forefoot strike as somebody who, when they run, they have no heel contact and they strike on the forefoot first. Now, we've heard a lot on blogs and, and discussions that um, one is better than the other, especially forefoot running. Mm. And I'm very interested in your thoughts on that topic. <clears throat> I think this is not the right debate because I think by changing your running style, you are just moving the location and the intensity of the load apply on your body. Uh, for example, if you use a heel stride, you are going to preserve, for example, if you use a heel stride, you are going to reduce the intensity of the, of the load applied at the Achilles tendon because you are going to decrease your calf muscle activation. If you use a four foot strike, you are going to reduce the strain at the knee joint yeah. because you, are you, you will decrease the compression force and the knee values. So this is this motion. So let's break that down. It's pretty simple, basically. You can't create or destroy force, you can only shift it. So if you're a heel striker, basically you reduce the load at the Achilles tendon. And if you're a four foot striker, you reduce the load at the knee and vice versa. And the take home message here really is there is no one size fits all for every runner. Um, basically, we learn to run at a young age and it's pretty hard wide and it's pretty hard to change unless you're injured and then the rules change. What are your thoughts on that, Marlene, when you get injured? Yeah, I think that uh, when you are healthy, you don't need to change uh, anything because you are good with your natural, with your preferred running style. Otherwise, I think in a, in a prevention way, it could be good to bring diversity in your training in order to avoid overloading certain joints or certain muscles. Mm -hmm. And uh, to do that, try running could be a good way. Yep, absolutely. So another great message here is that you can mix up your training. Um, with trail running, you tend to be running on different surfaces in different directions all the time. So you don't get the same repetitive load and repetitive load is the great enemy of the runner. So we can probably wrap this up now, I think, Marlene, and just say that one of the other issues here is that a lot of what we, we hear about forefoot versus rear foot striking applies to elite runners. One of the ways you can go faster is to get a little bit more of your load up on your forefoot. That helps you to go faster. But for most people, they're not elites, and um, we tend to recommend not changing your running style too much unless you're dealing with injury. And then it's very, very important to get the right advice from someone like Marlene or a medical um, professional to make sure that you're doing this in the correct manner. Um, and that's the real take home message here. So thanks a lot, Marlene. I appreciate your great knowledge in, in running and uh, I hope that, uh, hope that the people listening to this have got some great information from it.